Rejection is your body's way of not accepting the new kidney. It is a rare, reversible, and treatable condition. Although rejection is most common in the first six months after surgery, it can occur at any time. It is very important to continue to take your medications as prescribed and have your blood drawn as scheduled. Fortunately, the transplant team can usually recognize a rejection episode before it causes any major or irreversible damage. Some of the warning signs of rejection are an increase in serum creatinine, a fever higher than 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, flu-like symptoms such as chills, aches, headaches, dizziness, nausea, and or vomiting, new pain or tenderness around the kidney, fluid retention or swelling, sudden weight gain greater than two pounds within a 24 hour period, and a significant decrease in urine output. The transplant team will be able to tell if your body is rejecting your kidney by testing your kidney function during your hospital stay. If the team thinks that you might be having any problems with your new kidney, you may have the following tests. Repeat blood work, including a complete blood count, renal flow scan to check the blood flow to the kidney, an ultrasound of the kidney to check for other physical problems, and a kidney biopsy. This is a procedure in which a small sample of the kidney is removed and tested. Biopsies are usually performed on an outpatient basis. If rejection develops, your doctor will prescribe medicines to treat it and to prevent further complications. In order to control the rejection, you might need to be admitted to the hospital or you might receive care in an outpatient setting. Always call your transplant coordinator if you see signs and symptoms of rejection or if you have any questions.